Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to the Atlantis 1957 Cadillac Eldorado Brome build. Uh, last time we uh, took some gloss out of the interior parts, I made a mistake, and I think, as you'll see, they're not, they're still a little glossy, but not, not near as bad as they were, especially the seats. Toned it down a little bit so that it's not as shiny as it was. So, in today's episode, we're going to fix the rest of the sink marks in this body. I kind of fitted the body parts together last time, or not last time, but a couple times ago just to see how things would fit. There's a little bit of tweak into the uh, um, body. So that when I get the front end lined up, and I showed it in another video, but I think once you once you get everything glued down, everything's going to be fine. So uh, what we're going to do is tackle these sink marks. There's one right there, and there's one right there, as you can see. So we're going to get our uh, Vallejo um, plastic putty out and we're going to fix those in this video. So I'm going to go ahead and take this apart. The goal in the next video is to do the dash details and then paint the steering column, all the uh, trim on there. We're going to assemble the interior get the interior into the body so we can close the two halves together. We'll uh, mask everything off and then we're going to actually do the painting on the body. But in this video, like I said, we're gonna tackle those. We're gonna we're gonna knock into the camera stand is what we're gonna do. <laughs> then just take some of this uh, to me a putty and or sorry not to me a Vallejo putty like so and take a little card and just kind of smooth it out over the the sink mark like so and I think that would pretty much cover it yeah that covers that one. Short and sweet, I think this video is going to be. But I haven't done a brome video in a bit. So I wanted to get something out. Because I would like to get this one finished here in the next couple weeks. So again, kind of smoothing that out. You know, it don't look all that great yet, but... You really don't need to be a good uh, spreader of the putty. You just need to be really good at sanding. <laughs> so that is that. And like I said, we're going to tackle the um, getting the interior put together in the next video. Just kind of a short, short one to get the body um, going on this. And we'll set that off to the side. And I still haven't decided what to do with the top yet. I, uh, it's a brushed, uh, stainless, I believe they said it was on the internet. So I kind of, I didn't have an airbrush and I just kind of brush painted this B29 that I'm making for a keyboard diorama. So I don't know. It's, it looks like brushed. I was going for kind of like an oxidized, and I'm thinking of taking my airbrush and kind of going over it too. And then the bottom here, I know this isn't the brome, but the uh, I'm actually going to get some thinner and thin this out even more. I just wanted a thin layer of the black um, undercoating because that's what I had. It was kind of a uh, stainless on top with a painted undercarriage. But there should be, like, this should all be aluminum, all faded and everything like that. So that's kind of like a precursor to the 
um, final paint job, but I don't know. I, I don't know if I want to do a brush paint of this silver and then just kind of gloss coat over it. I'm not quite sure. That's the only way I can think of maybe simulating that brush to look, but this is really splotchy. I'd probably thin the paint out if I were to brush paint it a little more so it doesn't because you can kind of see on this plane how I kind of started and stopped kind of started drying out but I guess the tail tail is probably a better representation of what I was going for but I don't know I kind of I know I've kind of been all over with this build but it's my first car and like 15 years so I want it to turn out good because this is one of my favorite cars ever but I don't want to spend too much time on it either because you can you could spend years on something like this trying to get it the way you want to but it's one of those things where you I do a lot of sitting back after I do something on it I'm like ah, I wish I would have done it this way Maybe that's just me trying to be a perfectionist, I don't know, but... And it doesn't have to be perfect either. I am very happy with the way it's turned out so far, though. You know, my mistakes and my do-overs, I'll put aside, but... Yeah, that's the whole point of this channel, like I said, is to encourage people to do stuff. And don't be afraid to tackle new uh, projects or start a hobby or do whatever you want to do because you're... You're unsure of how it's going to turn out. You're going to make mistakes and you're going to want to do things over. And <laughs> This car has definitely been a lesson on that for me. But Anyways, I kind of ranted again. But um, I'd like to thank everybody who's been following. Um, please like and subscribe. Uh, comments. If, if you want to give me some pointers or whatever and share your modeling tips and yeah feel free to comment I enjoy that and I try to always comment back or at least mention something in a uh, later video regarding a comment so but anyways yeah that's the brome video for the night and I'd like to thank everybody for watching and following along and we'll see you guys next time